Welcome to Monday's Mental Mistakes. This week we're looking at the ambiguity effect. Here's a simple example. Suppose I have a large lottery barrel full of coloured balls. There are 120 balls in total and exactly 40 of them are painted red. The rest of the balls are either white or black, but I don't know the proportion of each colour. That is, there could be 80 white balls and no black ones, no white balls and 80 black ones, or anything in between. So, exactly a third of the balls are red, and the rest are some mixture of white and black balls. I'm going to spin the barrel and draw a ball, and you can win depending on which colour ball is drawn. I'll give you two chances to win. The first chance is a choice between these two options. A. Win if a red ball is drawn, or B. Win if a black ball is drawn. Which would you prefer? Okay, the second chance is a choice between these two options. C, win if either a red ball or a white ball is drawn. And D, win if either a black ball or a white ball is drawn. Which would you prefer here? If you preferred options A and D, then congratulations. You suffer from the ambiguity effect like the rest of us. To see why such a choice is actually irrational, let's look at the choices again. If you prefer A to B, then you are in effect betting that there are more red than black balls. But the only difference between options C and D is whether you win on a black or a red ball. So preferring D to C is, in effect, betting that there are more black than red balls. So to choose A and D is to contradict yourself. The reason that most people choose these options is because the odds of those options winning is easily known, and the unknown odds of the other options makes them seem like a bad choice. This aversion to the unknown is the ambiguity effect. The ambiguity effect is the tendency to prefer known risks to unknown ones. That is, we tend to prefer options where the uncertainty is quantifiable. The ambiguity effect makes us more likely to choose worse options that seem more certain. At the same time, we're unlikely to choose ambiguous options. The principal way to counter the ambiguity effect is to interpret it as a drive for more information rather than pressure to select a more certain option. That is, rather than being comfortable choosing the least ambiguous option, see it as a necessary evil that is better dealt with through more information. For example, in the lottery example, it would be best to calculate the odds of winning on the ambiguous options, rather than just choosing the clearer options by default. There are many factors that occur in ambiguous situations that can obscure our pure aversion to ambiguity. For example, we also tend to assume that a lack of clear information is a result of deceit, and so it can be rational to avoid ambiguous situations. So we quite rightly prefer a used car with a known provenance, even if it has some issues, to the used car with no history. Interestingly, in versions of the coloured ball scenario where there is no possibility that the experimenter is manipulating the situation, the ambiguity effect is reduced but still remains. Another factor that can reduce or reverse the ambiguity effect is optimism. Researchers found that people who are highly optimistic actually tend to prefer ambiguous options, presumably because they feel that they are likely to win big. However, this only seems to apply to highly optimistic people, with moderately optimistic or pessimistic people seemingly unswayed by these personality factors. Our aversion to ambiguity also seems to depend on the overall context of the risk. In particular, people are more averse to uncertain risks when they stand to gain, but are more likely to choose ambiguous options in order to avoid losses. In this case, it seems that our aversion to loss can be greater than our aversion to ambiguity. Also, we're more attracted to a known risk if its odds are higher. So the more certain an option seems, the more averse to alternative unknown risks we become, even if the certain payoff is much, much lower. Like most cognitive biases, a preference for the known is often a useful and rational position. The most obvious problem comes when this becomes a belief that choosing known options is better than researching unknown ones. 
In some situations, such research may not be possible, and so opting for a more certain risk is often a reasonable choice. But in many situations, it would be even better to evaluate all options and make an informed choice. Premature rejection of ambiguous options is never rational. In conclusion, the ambiguity effect is the tendency to prefer known risks to unknown ones. Until next week, may your mental mistakes be minor.